You gentlemen are making a big mistake. A lot of people know that he helped to end the desegregation in school, segregation in schools with Brown versus the Board of Education. They know that he was the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. But they didn't know that this dude was a gunslinger. This here is Mr. Thurgood Marshall. This man is an attorney. You will treat him with the respect that he deserves. He was going around from city to city back in 41, putting his life on the line, looking to defend African-Americans he felt were falsely accused. The only lawyer for the NAACP at the time, the South, the North, wherever, he thought that, that somebody could use his help. Hey, right, Bart! You need to be careful. NAACP. Very good. You're going to Connecticut. Joseph Spell, Negro servant attacked socialite in her own bedroom. It shows the power that one man can make in, in, in changing the world. You know, giving a defense to those people that don't have a voice for themselves. This dude, Joseph Spell, he didn't have any money. He didn't have any education. He was doomed to a life in prison, if not worse, if this man did not step into his life and, and give him his freedom. Did you rape that woman, Joseph? No. Why does she say you did? I don't know why she's saying that. She says you raped her and tried to kill her. She lying. I'm telling you this up front. The NAACP were not like most lawyers. We only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's our mission. Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. I knew a lot about Brown versus Board of Education Thurgood Marshall. Uh, I don't think even a lot of scholars knew about this particular case. And that, to me, is what was so exciting. Um, the, you know, these, this is a movie, uh, an origin story of, of real life superheroes. Sam Friedman and Thurgood Marshall uh, don't wear capes, they wear suits and ties. They don't throw a single knockout punch, they throw a brief. Don't any of you have any confidence in me? I'd say you have enough confidence for us all. That to me was so exciting because uh, hopefully it inspires a new wave of activists who are willing to form alliances like the one that's formed in this film and go out and defend those people who are in desperate need of defending. He just sweeps through town, stirring up all kinds of ugliness. My life is on the line here. Hey, Attorney Friedman, hold on a minute. What do you want? You're one of us now, Sam. A real fighter. I knew a lot about him, but I think once I started to read more, you know, it's because facts are, you know, facts are facts, but it's like the context of, of, of it all and who he was. Once I realized that, okay, there's a lot to do with this character. There's a lot to do with the time period that we're in um, and a lot to do with how does he get people to do certain things because if I just read it verbatim I'm like these things don't even make sense it, it has to be who he is as a person that makes a lot of things happen and so once I realized that I realized it was it was a great work to take on